you've already heard from the good gentleman from Dearborn and Kalamazoo and Southfield um, about the fact that we are at the bottom. We have an F when it comes to transparency, governmental transparency from the Center for Public Integrity. And the people of Michigan want more transparency in our government and our political process, not less. They do not want a shield for dark money shoved through the legislative process. And exempting nonprofits from disclosing their donors puts the integrity of our electoral process further at risk. Our integrity laws are an embarrassment to the nation. And passage of this bill will only make that worse. The people of this state have a right to know who is funding the nonprofit organizations that use their pocketbooks to influence our elections. And this bill has the unintended consequence of shielding hate groups that hide behind the guise of primarily dealing with research and education, most often when it comes to issues around race, immigration, and other matters that um, seek to harm marginalized groups and communities. 60 hate groups in this country are also listed among the 29 types of nonprofit 501c organizations. 29 hate groups are in Michigan. Let me say that one more time for those of you in the back who might not have heard that. 29 hate groups are in Michigan. Hate speech and activity across the nation and right here at home are on the rise. And these organized hate groups have perpetrated all sorts of atrocities against citizens, especially against marginalized groups of people. However, the most insidious weapon that these hate groups could have is the shield that this bill would provide for their campaign donations. To pass this bill is to embolden those groups to pour more money into the candidates they believe will support their twisted agendas. Regardless of a candidate's decision to work with such groups, the people have a right to know if an organization that despises their existence is supporting a candidate on their ballot. I wasn't sent to Lansing to make it more difficult for Michiganders to access the information they are entitled to or to take power from other duly elected officials. My constituents sent me here to fix the real problems facing our state. This bill does none of that. Instead, what it ensures is that we will be complicit in allowing nefarious actors a louder, albeit secret, voice in our elections. I urge you to join me in keeping such villains from having undue influence over our elections. Please join me in voting no. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.